Uh, just a couple of words to say you, to, I mean, this is really, in my mind, uh, an experimental workshop in many ways. Uh, it's experimental first with the topic because it's, uh, to our knowledge, the, the first time we're doing a workshop on this notion of doing just-in-time research. I mean, trying to do scientific work about phenomena as they happen. Uh, it came actually from a, a, a couple of discussions I had with, with, with some of you uh, about the difficulty in, in, I mean, in publishing that type of research. I mean, the, the, um, uh, the fact that there was actually possibility of telling interesting things about what was happening uh, in, uh, in various phenomena and that there was possibility of, of actually uh, having explanations that were much more interesting than the one journalist could have, for instance, on, on these phenomena. But on the same hand, that was very difficult for academic uh, track to uh, accept the fact that you do not have the uh, distance which is usually uh, uh, accustomed to, uh, uh, to academic research. So we thought maybe a workshop is the right place to try to map that territory and to see uh, what the diversity of approaches uh, that, can be, uh, that can be done in the field. Um, second thing uh, is we also try to make it very experimental in the uh, review process and academic process. Uh, uh, that's a tentative to use, uh, so this workshop use WordPress as a unique platform for uh, performing all the review process. It's not uh, actually uh, without problems, uh, but uh, uh, in the end I think it was kind of successful. Uh, we decided something which is again not very uh, uh, academically standard to have all the review process transparent and open. That means that all the reviews were actually published not an, uh, I mean, with the real names of the real people uh, and were actually published as comments on, uh, on, uh, on the WordPress uh, website. And uh, I didn't know when, when, when I launched this idea whether first people would accept to do it, then whether actually that would result in very gentle review where, I mean, all the reviewers will say, oh, what a nice paper, I love it, I love this one too. And, uh, um, and in the end, um, I mean, we have, of course, it's a small scale experiment, but I thought that actually most of the reviewers played the game very well, actually were pretty, uh, I mean, when they had critics, crit critics about uh, some of the papers, they expressed the critics clearly. Uh, when they were appealed on the paper, they were, uh, I mean, they, they had reasonably uh, long review compared to some of the academic process I've been through recently in this workshop where, because it's anonymous, maybe actually the reviewers do it in a very uh, un, uh, serious way. And so, um, so I think on that, unfortunately, oh, I mean, we, so we had some rejected paper on this process and I'm not sure that people are here, so, so, so we, we, we have only the happy few here so who, who, who got it uh, 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 got it through so we don't know whether actually on the on the negative side what, what, what were their opinion uh, but one other thing which we tried was to make actually the, the, the committee the decision committee uh, not open but transparent it means that we did this Google hangout uh, discussion. Uh, where everything was filmed and uh, put on YouTube just afterwards. That means that uh, at least the way the decision were taken uh, could be monitored. That was a bit stressful, I think, for, for me because uh, I'm not sure I did the chair as I should have done in, a, in, a, in, a, in, in, in the right way. But at least I think it's, 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 we, I would have liked as a, as a paper offer that all the conference I'm submitting to have this form of transparency. Uh, because it's, um, yeah, I think it, it opens some black boxes, uh, some academic black boxes. That's an open issue, of course, is whether it is, whether this is scalable uh, uh, out of uh, uh, like a small workshop that, like, like the one we have today, but um, we'll see, we discussed that maybe in the, in the last part uh, of the day. So, um, yeah, and finally, okay, the workshop in itself is slightly more traditional than all the than its topic and its uh, uh, and its review process, except of course that it's happening here, but it's also happening for the people who are following uh, what's happening here on Twitter. Uh, so we suggest the as a hashtag Jitso12. Uh, 
there was a big debate yesterday <laughs> on whether to be Jitsu or, or, or Jitsu 12. I mean, this, this kind of very important academic debate. I don't have any opinion on that, but uh, try to be, uh, for those who want to relay the, the debate here, uh, hello, uh, tries to be consistent. And we'll see whether we, we have a reaction also from outside the room. <coughs> uh, just uh, maybe a small comment again. Uh, so I'm teaching digital humanities here at PFL. Uh, I'm, I'm a new professor in, a, in a, the first Swiss digi digital humanities lab. And in the, the master course we're organizing, we encourage the, well, we teach the students how to tweet, actually. And, uh, and there's, there's about 30 students, and it's actually uh, quite interesting experience because really we have the situation where people are following what's happening in the course outside the classroom itself, having reactions. Uh, even we I had colleagues complaining that we made too much noise on Twitter uh, and that their own students were distracted by, by what was happening on, the, on our own uh, uh, classes. Okay, so again, we'll see how, how this happened for this workshop. Okay, so. In order not to be late, I suggest we move first to the to our first invited lecture. So it's my very pleasure to um, introduce uh, Paola uh, Tubaro, and hope this is the connection is, is actually uh, working. Uh, Paola is from the University of, of, of Greenwich. She's both uh, uh, a sociologist uh, and an economist. I thought it would be very important to start this workshop not with some. Uh, view only coming from uh, the technical side or the computer. I mean, as we have like a, a sociology workshop in the first place, uh, she's been doing very interesting work uh, on a various number of topics, yeah, but including uh, in particular the, the riot uh, in, in London. And so today she's going to talk about valuing sociology in times of unrest, social simulation experiments in the UK riots. So please welcome Paola Dubarry. Thank you. 